Hi, I am Rick. I'd like to share with you my week two class assignment where we take a look at what is Zachman's framework. Zachman's framework is a classification structure. It's often used in information technology departments. It is used by teams responsible for developing and documenting an enterprise architecture. It was first proposed by John Zachman in 1987 while he was working at IBM. At that time he introduced three dimensions, data, function, and networks. He later expanded the framework in 1992 where he added people, time, and motivation as additional dimensions. The framework is used for organizing architectural artifacts, those being design documents, specifications, and models. The framework considers who the artifact targets, by example, the business owner and the builder. In addition, it also considers the particular issue being addressed, by example, there we would have data and functionality. Before we look at the framework, let's take a look at who is John Zachman. He joined IBM in 1964, retired in 1990, after serving them for 26 years. John Zachman has a considerable and extensive list of credits and accreditations, most noticeable being as a, a Lifetime Achievement Award by the Data Administration Management Association International in May of 2002. The framework presents rows and columns, cells, that when addressed in a schema shows in terms of um, on the horizontal what, how, where, who, when, and why. Those in turn relate to data under what, function under how, network under where, people under who, time for when, and motive for why. It also addresses planners, owners, designers, builders, subcontractors, and of course a functional enterprise. More specifically with respect to planners, it addresses scope. And it addresses the scope of the enterprise, what needs to be documented. Under the business model, what it does is addresses um, the owner's expectation for the business from the business perspective. The system model addresses neutral system model, that is the designer's plan for enabling the business model. The technology model attends to how that is implemented. And the detailed representation model addresses listings, identifying actual solutions, and effective documentation and how it has been implemented, resulting, of course, in a functional enterprise. Now, why would we want to do this? The framework provides a basic structure which supports the organization access, integration, interpretation, development, management, and changing of, of a set of architectural representation in an organization's information system. So concludes my presentation on Zachman's framework. I trust that this brief introduction was informative for you and that it affords you then inf enough information for us to take off and take a look at additional details if required. Thank you.